this video we'll be looking at cracking. So what is cracking? Well, cracking is conducting malicious activities to guess, corrupt, or steal information. Okay, so it unethically exploits the highly sensitive information and uses the flaws in the security system. So all of these are related to cracking. Okay, um, so often we call crackers uses the flaws in the security systems. Um, there's only a subtle difference between hacker and cracker. Basically, hacker finds and exploits the flaws in the security systems. You see, there's quite a lot of overlaps in between those two. Okay, um, but I think uh, in today's age we refer pretty much everyone as hacker if they're doing something uh, malicious. Okay, um, but cracking was described uh, more so when we were in the era of password guessing or using password cracking tools. So there was a brute force and dictionary attacks. So you have done this before in lab two. Uh, you, you were given the plain text and cipher text and trying to crack um, what the key was, uh, what the key was uh, given uh, the list of um, words that are pot potential passwords, right? But you can also do this um, through uh, various tools, including Crack, uh, Lob Crack, John the Ripper, and other uh, password tools. Uh, so there's uh, some links there if you're interested. Again, don't try this on um, other people's uh, systems. You can build your own VM with the environment and test them out, but don't use them on others. Okay. Um, but cracking is not only limited to password guessing, so it can be used to uh, uh, sniff packets and retrieve some uh, passwords through there as well. So packet sniffing tools are used to wi used widely and legitimate tools for network analysis. So you probably heard about Wireshark's, okay, uh, which you will use later on as well. Um, and those are legitimate tools for network monitoring, uh, understanding how the network is behaving or, and uh, measuring some of its performance as well. Um, um, but those tools can also be used uh, illegitimately. So usually for monitoring IP packets, um, like this example, and if it's not, uh, if the protocol is unimplemented properly, then obviously it's going to reveal some sensitive information, like here, it says password is secret password. Okay, that's probably a, a very bad password to uh, begin with anyway. Okay, so that's pretty much what cracking is, just using the tools to try to guess um, something that's is sensitive information, and typically a lot of them are related to passwords. Okay, and a lot of people still use it, so it is good to have mitigation techniques around it. So uh, mitigation will ensure your password is strong, so here's a link uh, to determine how strong your password is. Don't actually type your real password, but just something, uh, it just describes how the length is, so you can just type a bunch of um, random characters um, and then to test whether it's strong or not, okay? Store sorted hash of the password, so the guess is much difficult and it doesn't uh, get duplicated to other databases storing uh, the password. Uh, close unused ports, uh, ensure secure programming, uh, encryption, education, trials and multi-factor authentication. So you can see that a lot of um, nowadays security protocols will implement many of those, which is great. However, still a lot of people um, developing something new um, just ignores these uh, and try to address them later. But, you know, so software should be um, designed securely to begin with. Anyway, that's pretty much all the cracking items that I want to go over. Um, yeah, otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.